hi guys it's Jody welcome back to my channel today I will be making some ripe banana flitters yes so here I have four ripe banana make sure they are very very ripe guys okay so that's my plain flour there and that's one cup I'm not going to use a lot because I'm only going to do a small amount of banana fritters, okay? So that's my vanilla and I'm adding two spoon of vanilla, yes. And I'm also going to add one teaspoon of cinnamon powder and one teaspoon of allspice, which is optional. So to my flour. I'm gonna add my cinnamon powder and my allspice, okay? You just wanna blend it all together or you just put it in it like that, it doesn't really matter. Then I'm gonna take my fork and just mix it all in, okay? And guys, you can always add some salt to it, at least one teaspoon of salt, yes. You want to make sure that everything is all combined. So that's my bowl right there. So I'm just going to remove the skin from my banana and just add it all to my bowl. Yes. So now I'm just going to take my crusher and I'm just going to press it all down. I normally would have used a fork, but hey, <laughs> I'm using this instead. Some people blend it, but I never yet blend it, but I normally do it this way, yeah. So this is how it should look, okay? So it's becoming very, very watery and that's exactly how you want it. Perfect. So now I'm adding my flour. You just want to take your time. Then I'm just going to take my spoon and just mix it all in. Okay, make sure everything is all combined. Yes. So now I'm going to add at least quarter cup of water to it, okay? But I'm not going to add it at one go. I'm going to take my time, yeah. Then you just want to carry on and mix it, okay? That everything will all combine together, yes. So 
so now guys i'm adding my vanilla yes and you just want to carry on with the same process by just mix it all in so you see how it look guys it is becoming per perfect and that's exactly how you want it not too watery yes or not too runny so that's perfect i don't like it to be runny runny i like it to be a bit thick as well yes guys to be honest with you i normally would have add some brown sugar to my banana fritters but i'm not gonna add no sugar okay because i'm not making a lot of banana fritters so that's why i'm not gonna add no sugar if you want you can always add at least three to four spoon of brown sugar yes so here i have my pot and my stove and my stove is on a medium heat. Make sure your stove is not turned up too high, okay? And to my pot, I add at least quarter cup of oil. So now I'm just taking my big, big spoon and I'm adding my mixture. Yes, I'm adding at least three, yeah, at least four spoon, yeah, four spoon I'm adding. You don't need to add a lot, okay? Try and make sure it is all spaced out, okay? And I'm just going to allow it to fry, guys, for at least 4 to 5 minutes on each side. But make sure you give her eyes on it so it doesn't burn. Yes. So now I'm just going to turn my banana flitters and I'm going to take my fork and pull it. So as you can see, it was sticking a bit, but you can always... You know, just take your time and just remove it. And guys, that's exactly all you want it. You see how nice golden brown it look? That's perfect. It's been frying for at least five minutes. Yes. I want to share a story with you guys. I remember back in the days in Jamaica growing up, there's a lady that called Miss Bashi. Guys, she made the best ripe banana flitters. I'm telling you, her banana flitters was so, so perfect. I remember she used to send me to shop, guys, when school finished to get something for her. And my reward was banana flitters. And guys, I'm telling you, it's the best, best banana flitters I ever have. Up to now, I still remember it. She used to make some puddle. Oh my gosh. It was so, 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 so yummy, guys. Rest in peace, Miss Bashi. I will never forget that old lady. So my banana flitters is nicely, nicely fried. So what I did, guys, I rest them on a napkin. Yes, so the aisle can drip on it. So these are my last batch and guys make sure your stove is not turned up too high okay and fry it for at least five minutes on each side yeah just stay tuned for the whole video. So my ripe banana flitters is all finished and I'm telling you, it's looking per, per, perfect. So, so, so yummy. 
guys please share this video to your families to your friends and everyone on your social media i will really really appreciate it i work so so hard guys just to get this video out for you guys so please please support my youtube channel and if you have been supporting my youtube channel i thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart thank you thank you thank you all so 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 much don't forget to give me a big thumbs up okay so my plate is right there and i'm just adding my banana flitters to my plate yes guys just continue to watch the video and see what i'm gonna do because i have a special treat for you guys okay so stay tuned So in a bowl right there, as you can see, I've got some strawberries. Yes, yes, yes. And guys, I'm just going to cut up the strawberry all over on my banana flitters. I'm telling you, if you guys try this recipe and try exactly what I'm going to do, you guys are going to love it so much. It was super, super delicious. Yes, yes, yes. And it looks so, so pretty. You can make this for your families, for your friends. And this is like a dessert, guys. You can even have it with some ice cream, with some whipped cream, you know, whatever you prefer. Yes. So this is one of the reasons that I didn't add no sugar to my banana flitters. Because I'm going to add some golden syrup. Yes, because you know golden syrup is a bit sweet. So guys, I'm just going to take that syrup and just sprinkle it all over on my banana flitters. And I'm telling you guys, it's looking absolutely delicious. I mean, just look at that presentation. Wow, wow, wow so 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 good i'm just giving you guys a up close look and how delicious my banana flitters look like and i'm gonna taste some and honestly guys it was absolutely delicious oh my goodness my daughter she's three years old and she love it so much the syrup go perfect with it guys this recipe is a must try guys if you do try this recipe please comment below and tell me what it's like this recipe is so 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 good i thank you all so much for watching this video until next time bye don't forget guys to keep laughing keep smiling no matter what because god is always on your side bye guys